Hello my shinies, my name is 7 47 and welcome back to some more Gloomhaven. So last we left off, we saw how the Sawbones class work. We finished that scenario and now let's go right ahead and do a city encounter. After a night of heavy drinking, you get turned around while navigating the back alleys and find yourself standing before a collapsed section of brick road that leads down into an underground tunnel. Fueled by curiosity and a bit of liquid courage, you descend in search of adventure. Stumbling around in the vast network of tunnels proves rather fruitless. However, until it, a well-concealed passage leads you to a long-forgotten stash of weaponry and dried food. This stuff could fetch a decent price at the sunken market, or you could turn it over to the city guard, which is always in need of arms and rations. Donate the goods to the city. Prosperity! Oh, that's so good! Oh, yes! You sleep off the previous night's revelries and approach the captain of the guard. This is wonderful news! With attacks on the city becoming ever more frequent, our blacksmiths are having trouble keeping up with our demands, and the food should help considerably if we ever find ourselves under siege. This is truly a big help to the city. Plus one prosperity. Yes. Good heaven world please. Yes, awesome. Ooh, moon earring. Oh. Oh my goodness, all of this is good. Plus one enchantment point each. Wow. Okay. New items are inside. Major healing potion. What we need is major stamina potion. Major healing is not that good. Chain meal is good for brute. We're not using it anymore. Oh, jagged sword is actually good. I think it's attack and you get an extra wound, I think. A wound card. Yeah. On your next melee attack, add wound. Ooh, this is so good. This is a game changer. It requires only one hand. Okay, then Vivi can buy that. We can equip an extra item. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. Night blade. No. Oh, the jagged sword though. Oh my goodness, so many new items. Yeah, this is why unlocking prosperity stuff is so good. During your turn, re refresh all your spent items. Okay, and not that good then. Minor mana potion. Oh gosh. <gasps> oh, never mind. I thought it's minor, major stamina potion. Ah, never mind. Okay, so, ooh, long spear. Okay, jagged sword. Yeah, uh, I'm definitely buying this for Vivi. Equip. Yes, equip. Yes, wound. So good. Yes, amulet of life. Ooh, this is actually also good, but none of us actually need it. This is really good to cure yourself from poison and wound. But again, the armors. Anyways, I think we leveled up. List leveled up. Hidden daggers, yep, I'm taking that. Hidden daggers are too good to pass up. So Venom can go, hidden daggers. And she get this, which is consistency, I believe. Or add one invisible. Thing. Mr. Sawbones leveled up to 3. Regenerative tissue. Heal 5 self. Oh. Vital strike. Oh. Yeah, I think this is one of those times where where it's funny because when you level up to 3, but both cards are actually worse than the previous card. So I, I'm actually going to take hamstring because as you can see, attack 4. Immobilize, not so good, but situationally good. But it's the damage and the EXP that's good. But at the same time, look at the bottom. It says 6 movement and immobilize. Alright, immobilize self. But sometimes it's fine. It's the upper part that you want. Movement 6 is fine because sometimes even if you immobilize yourself, he still has a kit like this. Syringe. So next turn I can attack one poison and stun the enemy. So 
hamstring is fine. Regenerative tissue, not so good. Oh wait, at the start of each of your turn, if you give it to your ally, they can heal one per turn. Wow. Okay. Vital strike is not that good. Movement four is always good, but hamstring. Ah, oh, what to get? Hamstring. Hamstring. It has to be. What can I replace though? <sighs> Hamstring. I remember taking this one. Mm. Try it, you know. Curative mix. Booster shot. Yeah. Yeah. Removing boost, booster shot for hamstring, and then I'm going to take consistency again. There, so at least he is a decent damage dealer. He's a yeah, he's a sub DPS. All right, so what else can I buy with her before we go? Oh, we can donate. Oh, okay, never mind. She already donated last time. Again, the night blade is for him. Jacket sword. Everything is so bad. It's Victor and List, the ones who need the money. Meanwhile, all the money is with Vivi. Moon earring. Power core. Power core. Yeah, you know what? Oh, let's see. Town records. You right. walk into the town records building and are immediately struck by how different it looks. It might just be the lighting, but there seem to be more books on the shelves and less of a scowl on Dominic's face. The short, bearded man approaches you. Alright, so if you want to read all this, I I'm gonna skip this through. If you want to read it on your own, you can just pause the video. So I'll give you like three seconds here. Ah, how good of you to come, he says. No doubt to record the further ex Dominic slaps you on the back, then wanders around behind the counter. Whether you like it or not, you are... He waves his arms about, his hands barely visible beneath his robe's long sleeves. They're not plus, he says with a small smile. I've had more time to work on my own tome. Dominic opens the small collection of parchment he has been working on and passes it to you. I'm still focused on the big picture, right? Though human expansion has not always been greeted with kindness and civility by other races, currently, humans are more or less at peace with their neighbors. After a costly... Humans have mostly stayed away from Harrower territory out of fear, and the Harrowers seem to return the favor. The same go... Orchids and Quattrolls both come from far-off continents across the sea, and seem far more interested in commerce, and so human society has certainly benefited culturally from its interaction with other races. Many of the most beautiful structures in human civilization, and while the human military keeps the civilization alive, it is really the commerce with the other races that ultimately... Like I said, I'm still working on the broader strokes, Dominic says. But my research has been providing some interesting information. He takes back the book and frowns. Savas write the worst poetry, and it's incredibly hard to translate. Yeah, from what we learned there, so yeah. Uh, these are the Orchid's race. I forgot which race she belongs to. Wormlings, these are the Savas. More or uh, or more lore review. Okay, so what else can we do? There's still so many more scenarios to do. Temple of the Seer. Stop the cultists. Mm. Is there any of these? Any of these have like uh, forest? Location. Alright, let's just choose the one that are looks the easiest. Oh my gosh, I hate that place. Follow the map. 
Where's the sunken treasure? Here, sunken vessel. Lurker. Living spirit, frost demon. Hmm. Doesn't sound too difficult. I really want to do hers because it unlocks my favorite character. Oh, default skin. Oh yeah. Does he, does he have default? Oh, okay. Sawbones doesn't have a another skin. Mm, untold riches awaits. Frost demon. Health seven. Retaliate to. No, I'll save this scenario when I have my favorite character. Because the frost demon, the the init retaliate is annoying. Well, of the unfortunate. Oh, this looks easy. The vermlings are really easy to to fight. Pick up the doll. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is doable. Okay, let's do this one. You have found some writings which document the existence of an old well in the plains northwest of Gloomhaven. According to a legend, if you drop something of value into the well, it will grant any wish. Intrigued, you go in search of it. We are intrigued. So we go for it. The Drake Caravan passes you on the road. This event isn't too uncommon, but what catches your eye is a familiar looking Inox. Inox. Traveling with the caravan as a guard. At the sight of you, the brute lights up and gives you a big wave, then rushes over to greet you. He is positively joyful to see you and immediately starts to reminisce about all the exciting battles you fought today, slapping you on the back. He implores you to travel with the caravan for a while to give you all the chance to catch up. Agree to travel with the brute for a while? So what if it's in the wrong direction? As you walk with the brute and talk with him about your early adventuring days, you find a hint of sadness behind his enthusiasm. He explains how he fell on hard times after leaving the group, and had to resort to jobs like this to make ends meet. The brute seems uplifted by your conversation, but the day grows late. By the time you head back and arrive at your destination, you are incredibly tired. Discard three cards each. It's annoying, but it's fine. We a short have distance from the well's supposed location, you run across a finely dressed middle-aged man, crouched down and weeping into his hands. There is no hope left. My daughter is dying, and no medic can help her no matter what money I throw at them. I went searching for anything that could possibly save her, and my last hope was to throw this doll of hers down the well and wish for a miracle. The man sobs violently, then continues. But the whole shrine is overrun by vermlings. There's no way to get to the well. She's doomed. You sigh and grab the doll. For a price, you'll get the doll to the well. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying. Uh, even though we have to discard three cards, it's fine. We have the the medic sawbones to give us medkit cards. So it should it should not be a problem. Kill five or more monsters. It should be doable. Your health at the end of the scenario is equal to maximum. Okay, let's remember that one. Gain seven of fear? No. Gain seven, I mean, 13 or more experience. Oh my gosh. I think I'll take the. Or more is kind of difficult for her. Seven. Oh my gosh. Seven or fewer it is. You are held at the end two. Equip number of nine. Yes, this one's easier. Okay, let's go. This is two. Mine thief has to be at maximum HP. Scoundrel must not spend two. I think she's going to fail that one actually, but oh well, we'll see. 7 or less EXP. Ugh, discard 3 cards. Yeah, this time. Yup, here we go, look at all this enemy. So early. 
bring this to the well to win this game. Wait, that's it? The doll can be passed from one mercenary to another by performing a loot action within range of whoever is holding the doll. If a mixture becomes exalted, okay. beware, more vermlings may appear behind you unexpectedly in this scenario. That's it. We have to do is just bring this to the well to win this game. Okay. Wow, this, this should be relatively easy then. But for safety, I think I'm just going to try and kill as many vermlings as I can. Okay, so first of all, we need to choose three to discard. Frigid Declaration can go. Mass Hysteria can go. Hostile Takeover can go. Single out. Smoke bomb. Because we kind of want to move now instead of pulling. Actually, no. Smoke bomb. There's a reveal can go. Swift ball. Fine. Try it. So she needs to pull the shamans are the most annoying but the night and sky. Two points each. What are they doing? Strengthen and muddle. Attack two. Shaman. Attack one. Range four. Immobilize. Oh god. Oh god. Who is he attacking? That, that's going to be a problem. Okay, the mind team. Wow, are you serious? Okay, this is okay. This is still fine.
do what he needs to heal himself. They faster than He has to burn two cards, really?
two heal three. Yikes. I'm still strengthened, so. Somebody to be right next to me. Move forward, jump, loot. <laughs> it's going to steal stuff. Alright. And while the pixie is going to steal. <laughs> oh, it didn't actually steal anything. Okay. Frigid apparition. So feedback loop and probably skill. Bloody saw. Bloody saw. He's going to kill that thing, hopefully. Meanwhile, she is going to do something and map kill. Actually, no. Flanking strike, yeah. And map kill. Meanwhile, he is going to.
stun and poison. Stun and poison. Hmm, not a bad idea. Prevention is key. No, what am I doing? Wound and triage. To the night and scurry. I need to know what's in there first. Into the night and scurry. Let's see what's in there. Wait, locked door. Why is it locked? Closed door. Oh, we're supposed to go here. Wow. Wow, game. Okay, fine. And I cannot reach anybody. Heal, attack, range four. Okay. Wow. And we're supposed to press the button there. Ah, I should have. <laughs> I should have surveyed the map first. Well then. He he's not a good in a good position to tank. Uh if I go in here oh I can at least kill some. I'm YOLOing with it. Minus one zero. Ow. Okay, nice survive. Ah oh, man, drinking strike. Oh boy. Just need to drink. 
Kristen Like he already got a lot of curses, so I have a feeling that Mr. Sawbones will probably fail if he attacks something, so I get an idea. I will heal. Affect you and adjacent allies. Wow. Shield self is actually. I'm gonna give it to VV because she is probably the best Four poison. Ooh. Five 
temperature. Times two and times zero. gonna make sure they're ready to go through that door. She's out of med kits. Oh. oh, wait. The relic is with Scoundrel? Well, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure why, but I'm actually glad that it's with the Scoundrel. why he needs the boots of striding plus two movement is so important oh, wow <coughs> oh wow attack two curse the only thing i need to know is closed door her. Scoundrel, come on. next time. There's a trap somewhere I didn't see. Oh well.
Wait, I already used clean. No, oh, gosh. She needs to use smoke bomb. Huh? This must be wait, what? Take this. Internet might not work that Go, scoundrel! You have to go! Turn on in this arm. Four damage. Jump five loop. Honestly, I, w I, I wanted to move five, but like, oh well. Nice. Yes, it's dead. Take the damage. Uh, I can see myself winning, but the problem is it's gonna take a little bit of while. Like, let's say, give it 15 to 30 more minutes, and I'll win. Long rest. 
to risk it. Oh my gosh. He's also long rested. <sighs> Fine, I'll short rest. Open wound. Ah, it's good. Oh, that's the good card. Fine, we draw. Okay, burn swift bro. That's good. Open wound and medical pack. Sure, heal myself. He's in danger a little bit. Like, oh, there's nothing I can do. Son, survive! Get all adjacent enemies? What? <laughs> I did not realize this. <laughs> nice, okay. He survived. I will survive. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh no, we want to die. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, into the night, scurry. Long rest, no choice. Oh yes, move zero, attack five, good. But wait, let me heal myself first. Make sure not to step into the trap. Not sure why I stepped into the trap. Is there a trap here? Let's 
Oh, right. The living space. Oh, gosh, the bird. So. Okay, they're only attacking. Good. They're not here. That's good. Because I am wounding you. Must be wounded. Okay, critical fail. That's fine. I kind of need that really invisible card, so I need to drink. Because I need the cranium overload. Make sure I immediately kill. <coughs> I want you to move them. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, not enough. Move one more space. Dang it. As long as she's still alive, it's fine. Watch this. So now I can just immediately kill this living spirit. I don't need to roll, no nothing. Just do that. And then it's going to explode. Attacking his friend. Good. So it's gonna immediately die. Curse enemies. Wow. Okay. Okay, we're gonna win. For sure. is going to try and kill her enemies. I'm not going to use the smoke bomb ability. She'll probably just short rest next time. Come on, finish this. So take that kit. No, that's it. This is her last. No, this is not going to be her last. I'm going to short rest. Be good. Burn triage. First aid. And that one. That's it. Retaliate three. Oh, okay. So yeah. Here, you take a med kit. And then take another med kit. Good. So now you're not exhausted. Next time. Technically, Scoundrel could be able to kill this spirit because I'm about to kill him. Here, just watch. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. 
Oh, never mind. It's her turn. really wanted to do strengthen here take this time skip why am I not surprised she'll have to short press as well That it, do I do I succeed the scenario? No. Bring the doll to the well. The doll can be passed for one. Hour. Like maybe this is the last turn. I'm not sure. Well, if it is, she's doing it. You cast the doll into the well and return to the man who thanks you with coin. Nice. What? Use my equip number. Gosh. Okay, fine. Well, technically, it's right because I don't really have a boot or an item to use over and over again. So, yeah, that was my fault. But they both succeeded on their battle goal, so I'm glad. So yeah, cool. Easy enough scenario. I guess technically somebody can just press the button and then Vivi can just go invisible and just whew, zoom all the way. She picked up the she picks up the voodoo doll and go zoom all the way to the end. So yeah. Easy scenario. A few days later, you hear that the daughter succumbed to her disease. And you are glad you didn't throw anything of value down the well yourself. Some legends can't be trusted. Alright, BB level up to six. Corrupted embrace. Oh. Oh yeah. Dark frenzy. Wow. If uh, I may be wrong, but I think her level seven cards are bad. So then we actually take both Corrupting Embrace and Dark Frenzy. Corrupting Embrace combos with Mind's Weakness because on your melee attacks, add plus two to attack. So this plus one plus one becomes a three, attack three and poison and then attack, attack three and then muddle. Meanwhile, the bottom part is jump and then poisoning all enemies through and then con uh, and then generate darkness meanwhile frenzy now frenzy is interesting because not only you can consume ice 
and darkness to add plus two and the really the kicker here is the bottom part movement three and then attack three range generate ice and one exp that's really good i have no choice but to take dark frenzy and i need to throw away something I, normally I take out feedback loop I realize now that jump is really good but usually I just take it out so yeah I'll do that so I don't really have a jump option now but I, I still have rigid operate uh, apparition because maybe I still want to consume ice to stun something or not or not, <laughs> we can take away Bridget Apparition, yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna give her. Ooh. Hmm. Dust or freeze. Yeah, fine. Dust. Remove four plus zero. Okay, but yeah, good. We won this scenario pretty easy, a bit long, but we won nevertheless. So I guess we'll just bless. Why not? Okay, so yeah, this video has been gone long enough. So I hope, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. So next, we'll pick a scenario and we'll just, you know, do some more scenario. So yeah, so uh, I hope you look forward to it. So we'll do that. Yeah. Take care, my shinies. I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.